So what happened today is that we started occupying the central courtyard starting 4 p.m. with several events, speeches. And at 7 we voted in a town hall type meeting to occupy uh, the courtyard until our demands are met. And then afterwards we started setting up and we're going to stay here until Sciences Po hears us, starts an investigation and ends disciplinary measures against the students. Concerning France's position on the genocide, we want France to call it a genocide. We want France to denounce it, call it what it is, and end its support, very explicit support of Israel, by supplying it with weapons, by supplying it with political backing. And in the end, this is not about the US, this is not about French protest culture, this is about Gaza, this is about the genocide happening, and this is about doing our work on our side to stop it. The university has to understand that we do not want any external funding from any pro-Zionist or pro-Israeli organization and that we want them to divest and we want them to cut all partnerships with them, whether that be from funding to uh, universities. So cut all partnership with Israeli universities so that you know we don't have any exchanges with them anymore. Students have been mobilizing for months now to condemn the ongoing genocide in Gaza. Um, and today, uh, in solidarity with students all around the world, we've decided to escalate. Students got together and democratically voted on an occupation because it's important to first of all join the, the student movement that is growing to condemn this genocide, but also to continue putting pressure on the, on the world to do something about the ongoing genocide in Gaza. We want them to listen to our demands and to stop being hypocrite and having double standards because they did react to what happened in Ukraine, which they should have, but they didn't react to anything that happened in Palestine. In the contrary, they threw us under the bus when there was this student movement and we were on the media all over the place and they didn't do anything. They didn't send emails, they didn't support anyone psychologically or just by having a proper conversation with a student who's frustrated about their silence and their complicity.